Welcome to the AMP, the Arkimoto Manufacturing Plant. I'm your host, Joe Morgan. Let's go take a look around. This is where I want to start the tour. This is our wall of inspiration. These are messages written by family, community members, pre-order customers, vendors. This reminds us daily of why we're working these long days and to the evenings and sometimes weekends to get stuff done. And we're really contributing to something that's way bigger than us. It's really, really inspiring. If you take a look at the wall, it's awesome. Guys, this is an LC5 from BLM. This is a 4,000 watt laser. The really cool thing about this piece of equipment is we can load the tubular steel in the front carriage. It begins to create the upper structure of the Arkimoto. While simultaneously loading the sheet from the left, we load it into the carriage right here in front of us, loads it into the laser, and begins to create all the components that make up your Arkimoto FUV. Here's some components that just came off the laser. We actually walk it right over here to the CNC forming machine. Technician loads it into the equipment, and then he or she begins to create these different components that actually make up your future Arkimoto. We take these pieces of steel, we're gonna load them into the CNC bender, and it starts creating the upper structure. We load them into this fixture, clamp them down, it rolls it up in there, and then the robot stitches it all together. Hey guys, this is our EDM 9000 10 gigawatt subwoofer for Arkimoto Raves. Just kidding, it's an air filter. These two robotic welders are dedicated to all the other portions of the Arkimoto, which is the front clip, the battery modules, the backbones, all that kind of sheet metal equipment. So what we're looking at here is Domo on the left, Arigato on the right. The reason we use the robots is robot is basically error-free, does it exactly the same every single time. This is what it will take get to the really production volumes that we need to create to really make a difference in our world. So let's take a look at the material handling portion of the organization. We've got some headlights on this pallet, some windshields, and what's really cool is we've got a whole bunch of gearboxes on their way to get machined, and we'll take a look at how that works next. So let me introduce you to Barry White. This is a state-of-the-art four-axis milling machine. And it's working on gearbox components. Let me introduce you to Barry's sidekick. This is Kenny G. This is a state-of-the-art lathe. This baby creates all kinds of components for steering bits, suspension, etc. I'm gonna show you some completed components that are back from Powder Coat. They're gonna help create uh, the next vehicle. These are some floorboards, some rear swing arms, and we have some battery modules right here. So the cool thing about an Arkimoto FUV is there's only a few components that make up the entire vehicle. We've been taking a look at the upper structure. It meets the backbone or the central chassis. It houses your battery modules, your BMS, and your wiring harnesses. We add the front clip motors, controllers, the brain of the operation, we're not gonna actually show you. And then we add body panels, glass, safety harnesses, seats, some logoing. You've got yourself an Arkimoto FUV. That pretty much wraps up the tour. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I just wanted to put in there that we've been told a thousand times in a row this can't be done. And so I'm going to remind you right now, don't give up on your dreams. Thank you so much.